Hello everyone and welcome to PS for Fun. Um, what I'm going to do in this video is show you the, um, the building mechanic in Dark Chronicle. So part of the game is that you have to put right in the present um, all the horrors that have been dealt by the bad guy so in the future everything's rebuilt and you can figure out how to defeat the baddies. So I'm going to go into a dungeon first so you can see how we collect the tools and materials for doing We'll go into a quick kind of tutorial or overview of how the building mechanic works. So I'll see you in a dungeon in just a sec. So to be able to build up new um, areas and towns you have to collect geostones and geostones contain the building blocks for the villages. So what they look like is this and then what you need to do is to grab them. So if I click on this geostone now, I'll get a nice little animation going, yay! And there will be one geostone per um, level. So you go through a level, and they just tell you actually in the write-up of the level um, whether there is a stone in it or not, and whether that stone has been found if you're revisiting the level. So geostones are collected in that way, um, and then they will open up more houses, more um, items for you to build, to cre recreate the world that once was and defeat the boss and get bonus and all sorts of stuff. So that's what the geostones are and you will find them exclusively in the randomly generated levels. Hi there, so we saw a little while ago me grabbing one of the geostones from a level and the geostones are what allow you to build. Now, we're in this area here, you go to various different locations and fight through various themed dungeons and each one has a different area to rebuild and the better you rebuild it, uh, the happier your people are and the better your rewards are essentially. Um, you can tell I've got a build because you can see in the bottom left hand corner there that little blue icon which is the chappy that does the building. There is a day night cycle in, um, in Dark Chronicles so we're currently at night time. If you do everything right here, we reactivate this, which is a big kind of tree god monster person who helps you out. Um, right. So, what we've got already, I mean, this this was already here, um, but I have built this house, and I have got various criteria that I want to get right. So, if I hit the select button, I go into the build menu, so we get a nice overhead uh, uh, overhead view here. And if I hit the triangle button, I go into the... Um, into the menu and it is downloading the geostones that I've collected. I've collected three or four actually, um, not just the one you saw me grabbing. And what this has done, I can now build a straw house, I can build a, a shed, I can build a pot, a rough wooden fence, a bench, a cart, wooden bridge, eye tree, ooh eye tree too, don't want that, nose tree, uh, 15 river parts place conditions. So I know I need to now get 15 river parts. It will tell you some of the conditions for the build. Um, condition withered tree restored has been made clear, so I have to do that. Uh, condition withered tree restored, yeah, we've got all of that. Forest Lake. Gordon resides in Sindane, so I've got to find a person. Tailor shop restored. All oh, right, so I've got all of this stuff that I have got to find. Excellent. So what I've got to do though is to make these various things. So I've got all of this stuff down here I can make now and you need materials to make them with. So I want to get, uh, oh, set, let's go and see um, analysis. We want 15 river parts placed. So I have got already 10 river parts placed so I want to make five more. So here's river. To make the river I need to use water elements and I collect those in dungeons or can buy them potentially. So I'm going to make five, I'm going to go OK, five river bits made, and then I can come out, go to the place menu, and I can place ooh, six river bits. So I've got a nice lake over here, so I might put one, you see, just over the tile that you want to do, two, three, and then let's have a nice, let's bring the, the river around a little bit this way. So, very shortly, I should, and that's it. So I put all of those down, and what I should have done now is to have made that, um, made that have a look at analysis. So there we go, river parts placed, and now I'm 10% complete. And once I get to 100%, everyone's really, really happy. Um, 
So let's have a little bit of clean up is to get rid of stuff. So when you get in there, there's kind of rocks and trees you can get rid of. You can paint things different colors and you find paint in the dungeons and you can place things. So let's have a little think. Let's have a look at the analysis and see if there's anything else we can do. So for instance, with a tree restored, Forest Lake has been restored. So obviously they're looking for a particular sized lake. So let's see if we can make the bits for a withered tree. So I saw that we had a nose tree. All right, let's make one of those. Yes, we've made a nose tree. Eye tree. Yes. <laughs> no idea what this is all about. Seriously, it's 13 years since I played it. So as much as I remember very, very fondly this game, actually, I don't remember much more than that. Okay, so we've got a nose and eye, so I'd imagine we're probably going to need a mouth at some point. Let's place these. So let's have a look at placing the nose tree. Right, there is a, a building you can't build. See, that's our outer bounds. So where are we going to put the nose tree? Um, I can't actually see where the front of the nose is. Can anybody? Uh, I think that's probably the front. Let's do that. I don't know. Let's get the eye trees. Oh, no, I don't want rock. There, he can go there. Let's turn him around. Let's we'll check later on to see whether it's in the right place. And then let's get the other eye. No idea whether it's the right eye or the left eye or what place. Here we go. Let's pop that in there. Lovely. There we go. So I'd imagine at some point we might have a mouth as well. At any point, you can go into and wander around. What's this all about? According to Geostones, you brought back this time. If you want to bring Jurak back, we need to get someone who knows about trees to emigrate, emigrate to Sindane. Get someone to emigrate. That's right. There are lots of people living in Palms Brinks, right? Ooh, we've got to get those people to emigrate out of the world. That way, the future will develop. I see. And so what we need right now is someone who knows about trees. Huh. Max, the only one like that. Hmm, someone knows about trees. Lovely. Gordon? Yeah, he's our gardener. He's an expert on trees. He's perfect. Bet he's in our yard right now tending flowers or something. So what I'm going to have to do is go to Palm Breaks. And I'm going to have to get Gordon. And probably what will happen is Gordon will say to me, Oi, I will come, but I want these things to be in place. So he'll say he wants a house by a lake with whatever in it. Right, what I thought I'd do is just cut this in because I've come to Max's house in Palm Brinks. Here's Max. It's beautiful. I mean, look, this is a PlayStation 2 game. I mean, it was gorgeous in its time with a bit of up -res and 60 frames per second was glorious. Some of the textures are still a little bit wonky, but it's a PlayStation 2 game. Um, but I think this must be Gordon. Remember, we had to get Gordon, our gardener, to come along to Palm Brinks. Here he is. Come on, Gordon, speak to me. Oh, Max, you've been moping around a lot lately and taking care of yourself. Something I can do for you. What, you want me to go with you on your adventure? Oh, I'd like to go with you, but this poor tree isn't doing so well. Taking care of trees and the flowers on this property is my number one priority. And oh, if I go roaming off, I could lose my job. Bet some of the holy water that Priest Bruno sells to the church would fix this tree. But as you know, your father and Priest Bruno are on bad terms. Your father'd never give me the money to buy holy water from Priest Bruno. I'm in a pickle. Right. So to get Gordon to St. Dane, first you have to get him to join your journey. If you fill Gordon's quest, he'll join you on your journey and get on the train. You can check your quests by reading your notebook located in the item menu. So essentially, to get Gordon to come along on my little journey, I have to buy some holy water from Bruno to go uh, from the church up here to go on that tree. And then Gordon will come along and that's one of the criteria filled. That is fairly basic. As you get deeper into the game, the people you might need to get to come along on your journey um, might ask for far more specific things for their houses, such as they want their house next to a river or they want a certain number of trees or they want a chimney or a cooker or whatever it might be. Um, so it does get a little bit more involved um, because this is the first area I'm building. But you can see the kinds of things you have to do. We need to get Gordon over to make the tree happy. So here we are. Here is Priest Bruno 
Would you like to borrow the power of God? Then please make a donation to the church. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to buy holy water. I think I've already got some, but I'll buy some anyway. Thank you very much. Yes, bought. Thank you very much. Here we go. And then I can go back to Gordon, and then Gordon will get on the train and come along to Palm to um, Sindane and look after all my stuff. So that's it, really. I'm going to go back to Gordon to get him to come along. Um, so we're going to go back and we'll cut back into the um, uh, into the building menu. Obviously, this will never have happened because it occurred to me to edit this in after I'd actually done the bulk of the rest of the recording. Um, so there we go. Nice little side quest. So what you've got, I mean, you've got the the traditional RPG stuff of smacking things with swords, but also you've got this lovely building mechanic, which does get a lot more complex and involved the further you get into the game. It's absolutely awesome. So let's go here. Max, fix of gin, blah, 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 blah. Give him some holy water. Yes, you've done it. Now I can take this. Thank you, Max. My work is taken care of for now. I can go with you on your adventure. Oh, and don't mention the holy water to your father, you're here. He's joined my party. Lovely. If you select someone else to record your adventure, that person will get on the train. Blah, blah, blah. Tell the person inside the train to switch him or her on as your third party member. That's fine. Go away. Go away. Right. Oh, I've got a trophy. Yay! Partners in time. Oh, good see, because it's time travel and stuff. Right. Okay, we'll get back to the building menus right now. Ooh, are they following me? Yeah, they are. How creepy. Have I put the nose the wrong way around? Uh... Yeah, I have. Right, I'll turn that around so his nose is facing the right way. Bless him. And by going through all of these little bits and pieces, you will build up a um, a nice little village which will have its own shops, have special NPCs that you can then take along with you, and which are going to give you buffs. So we've got to get poly, we've got to get 40 culture points. All of these things are things we can do to make this the best possible place. You don't need to hit 100% to get all of the best results but you do need to answer some or all of these little um, all of these little uh, needs and requests and requirements to move the story forward so what we're going to do there as well is the premise of the story is that um, Monica is from the future and she's come back to the past because a baddie is coming to the past and they are basically destroying the past in terms of um, to ruin her future so what we're doing is we're rebuilding all the horrors that have been done by the baddie so we can go into the future and find out more about him and this will allow me to travel into the future and as we do more and more stuff in Max's time because Max is from now we can see the changes in Monica's time which is a hundred years in the future so we're going to zip over there and see whether any changes have been made probably none yet because I haven't done enough so at the moment We've got one little chap who doesn't say very much. But the more criteria you meet, the more of these little boxes spawn. And then you can pick up some nice things. I think which parfait is a healing item, for instance. So eventually what we'll have in here, instead of this kind of barren land, is we'll have rebuilt what exists in the future. And it's essentially um, a wise old tree who's going to tell us how to beat the bad guy or certainly where to go next. Because this is the first first proper level. You have a kind of tutorial level and then you can't bring to it where Max lives. And then you come out here, meet Monica, and this is kind of the first proper foray into what Dark Chronicles all about. So that is the building mechanic. You collect geostones in the dungeons. You collect items whilst you're in the dungeons. And what you do is you relate those items to things that you can build uh, which will bring the life back to the future. Bring life back to the present so you can actually get answers in the future. It's absolutely brilliant. So, this is another part of it. There is still the invention mechanic to talk about. There is still the fishing minigame to talk about. And most importantly, the golf minigame once I manage to um, unlock that. So, there will be further videos on Dark Chronicle covering those areas. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, there are connectional links in the description below, but also just put PS4 Fun, and you should find me straight away. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a fantastic gaming week. Bye-bye for now.